When you first sign in, you'll land on your dashboard. To create a single order, go to the navigation bar and hover over orders and click create order. You'll then get a pop-up where you need to enter the minimum delivery details of first name, last name, address line one, city, postcode, and country. Everything else is optional. Once all the information is filled in, click create order and apply postage. To apply postage, first enter the weight of the order. Let's say we are shipping a piece of clothing that is 500 grams. You'll see that based on this weight, the package size we can select is filtered, and in our case, the options are a large letter or parcel. However, because my order will have a depth of more than 2.5 centimeters, we have to select parcel. Next, we choose the service. This part I found very confusing because annoyingly click and drop does not actually provide the price or useful details and it's only right at the end when everything has been processed you will see the final cost. In the description below I've linked to a PDF called Business Price Guide which provides a lot more information on the types of services and pricing of each. In this example I'm selecting Royal Mail 24 which is an untracked 24 hour service. You can then decide any further options like sign on delivery, which will obviously add to the cost. Finally, add in the planned dispatch date, which is just the date you plan on heading to the post office to drop off the parcel. I believe if you leave this empty, it defaults to today's date. Then click apply and generate label. You'll then be taken to the open orders tab and you can see the stage we are up to for this order, which is label generated. You also would have noticed that two PDFs automatically downloaded. Open the label PDF and print. I personally have the Zebra GK420D thermal printer, which I've linked in the description below, which I do recommend as it is reliable and prints to a sticker roll, which makes applying labels to parcels very easy. You can also get free sticker reels for this printer forever from Royal Mail, and I've put a link in the description below for how to get this. Heading back to click and drop, we now click on the document icon and need to do the final step, which is to manifest our order. Manifesting is just a confirmation step that sends all the information about our order to Royal Mail so they can process it on their end. Once completed, you'll be shown the final cost and a manifest slip will automatically download. You have to print this and take it with you to the post office along with your parcel, otherwise Royal Mail won't be able to process your order. In most cases, you'll be wanting to process multiple orders at once. The easiest way to do this is by importing orders from a CSV or setting up an integration, which I touch on at the end of this video. Back in our dashboard, we click on import orders from spreadsheet. Like before, the minimum you should have on your CSV is the first name, last name, address line one, city, postcode and country. But I also enter an address line two, service code and weight to make my CSV to make the rest of the process easier inside click and drop. I've linked this PDF in the description below that shows all the other columns you can enter on your CSV, so you can play around with this to make it more efficient for yourself. Once filling out your CSV, you click upload file and then select comma for column delimiter and then upload the file. Next, select any import settings that apply to your sheet. The final import step is matching the CSV columns with Royal Mail's columns to ensure fields match. In my case, I would select from the drop down menu full name, address line 1, address line 2, city, postcode, country, service code, and weight. Once done, click import orders. A green bar will then appear at the bottom of the screen and click see imported batches. Click apply postage to this batch of orders. You will now see all our orders, and like before, we need to apply postage to each. However, because I already specified my weight and service code, there is less to fill out. Just the package size and planned dispatch date. Click apply and then repeat this process for each order in the batch. Like before, once done, click generate labels for all orders. Download the labels, stick them on your parcels and then manifest this batch and print off the manifest document. Just some final notes. Firstly, before you can use click and drop, you will need to have a Royal Mail OBA which stands for Online Business Account. This is your central Royal Mail account, which contains things like your direct debits, etc., where click and drop is simply a service of this account. I have provided a link below for how to register for an OBA if you do not have one. Secondly, inside click and drop, if you click settings in the top right, there are a few basic things you should check are correct, 
such as your company address, trading names, and label formats. There are also some more techie settings like shipping rules, where you can configure specific rules for specific orders, which I personally didn't take advantage of. The final thing is that for those that are selling through platforms like Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, or any of these on screen, you can set up integrations. I personally didn't use these, but if you are selling on one of these platforms, you should set this up because it will mean your orders will automatically import into click and drop. Once set up, the only real difference between what I have shown you in batch import and this automated integration is that the channel of the order will be shown like this, as opposed to the document icon. The remaining process of applying postage, manifesting the order, etc. is identical. I have linked in the description below simple instruction PDFs on how to set up these integrations for most of these platforms inside Click and Drop.